Hello, my beautiful bugs. Oh, shit. Drop all my makeup brushes. God damn it. Hello, my beautiful bugs. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brooke. Today, we are going to be doing something a little different. We are going to be reviewing a new foundation sponge. It is called the Super Sponge. I saw this on Instagram, and of course, Instagram is going to take all of my money. They keep showing me all these new makeup advertisements and all these clothes advertisements, and I'm like, please, give it all to me, please. Anyways, so we're going to be reviewing this sponge today. I thought it looked interesting. Um, I'll show the clip that I saw that made me buy it. <laughs> I'm opening it. Um, so Super Sponge is supposed to have you use less foundation on your sponge, like it won't soak into the sponge as much as like Beauty Blender or a Real Technique sponge. And let me tell you, these soak up a lot of foundation. Like all of that is foundation or concealer or whatever. So yeah, we're just gonna open it. So this is what it looks like as soon as you open it. it just says Super Sponge right here. And it says, tips and tricks for flawless application and use. Soak your sponge thoroughly, fully saturate with water first time. Squeeze excess water out the bottom. Don't squeeze too hard. Bounce and blend foundation. Use half of what you would normally use. Okay. Clean the sponge with a bar of soap and included scrubber. So I actually forgot this even came with like a little scrubber and I actually see it right now. Um, and it says, for best results, we highly recommend watching our instructional video, supersponge.com slash how to. Um, I'll do it for you guys. <laughs> I wouldn't normally do it, but I'll do it for you guys just to see what the video is about. Um, I'll include some clips, but not the whole video because I don't want to get copyrighted. This is what the sponge looks like right out of the box. It comes in this little cute little case that you can stand on your desk or something. Um, and it opens like that. Um, this is the included scrubber that they were talking about. So, um, you know, like those, you know those brush cleaners? That's kind of what this feels like. It's probably exactly what it is. I could probably clean my brushes with this too, maybe like, little eyeshadow brush or something, a little highlighter brush. Um, so yeah, we're just going to take it out. Ooh, it's very soft. Oh, it's very soft. Um, it kind of feels like it has like a silicone or something, like some kind of some type of coating on the outside. Let me read this. Um, revolutionary silicone infused sponge. Yeah, okay. Save four times makeup, limits germs, and stays clean. Oh wow, 5% of all profits go towards helping dying coral reefs. That's great, that's great, okay. So it's very soft, the bottom has like two layers. This is what it looks like, don't mind my broken nail. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like, very soft. So I'm going to go soak this, saturate it, whatever I need to do and take off the makeup that I have on already and let's jump right in. So this is what it looks like coming back immediately, like didn't even dry my hands immediate, um, right after putting it in the sink and wringing it out. Definitely got a little bigger. Okay, now that we have a clear face, 
no makeup I mean because we don't have a clear face for some reason our skin is breaking out and I think that's because someone has been feeding me way too much chocolate <laughs> dad anyways we are going to start with our primer water this is the wet n wild photo focus rose primer water and we're just going to spray that on our face obviously with our glasses on and this is my everyday foundation routine so I'm not changing anything, not using any new products, everything's staying the same. After our skin is dry from that primer water, we are going to take the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer and put that in, all over our face, uh, mostly in our T-zone area, and I put a little bit on my cheeks because I have blackheads on my cheeks just a little bit. So we're going to do that. Now, after our primer, we're going to let our face set for about three to five minutes, and then we're going to go in with our foundation. The foundation that I'm going to be using, of course, is the Milani Foundation, oh no, the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Love this foundation. This is a great full coverage foundation. It's also buildable. It can be light coverage. It can also be full coverage. You know, it's great. Get the drugstore, get it at Target, get it wherever you want, because it's there. And I'm just gonna do one side of the face at a time, and we're gonna go in with our new sponge. A little nervous, I've never used a silicone sponge before. Um, let's see how it goes. Oh wow. Is this smooth? Okay. Oh wow. This really made the foundation go a long way. So you are saving some makeup. I would usually have to either go back in for more or just go for a sheer look that day. You see how fucking, <laughs> this is full coverage, okay. I see you, super sponge. So far, so good. Hopefully we're not jinxing ourselves right now. Now I'm using the other side of the sponge just to see if that will make it look any different at all. Okay. 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 Kind of, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it yet. We'll see. Um, I'm going to do the other side of my face with my usual sponge, my usual Real Technique sponge, just to see if there's any major differences. Off breaks. Okay, I have to go in for more product now. And just a little bit on my forehead too. Okay. So just by looking in the mirror, I see this side of my face looks more realistic, which is a good thing. This side of my face looks a little more cakier. And I put the same amount of foundation, if not less, on this side. Go a little closer for you guys. This is the Real Technique side. This is the Super Sponge side. My pores look a lot less 
noticeable, less noticeable on my left side, which is a super sponge side. Um, let's continue with our makeup. Our next test is going to be concealer. I'm using the Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade 05 Ivory. So we're just going to go in and, as my dad says, slather on our concealer, our alabaster, even though this is not it. And now I'm going to take the super sponge and blend out this concealer. Okay, off breaks and what I could see in the mirror, I like the super sponge side more. I feel like it has more coverage. Although, I don't like what it's doing to the lid of my eye. I like what it's doing to the underneath of my eye. I like both of them the same so far. Now we are going to take our Fit Me Loose Powder and we're going to set our under eyes. Now we're going to finish the rest of our face and we'll be right back with the finished review. Okay, I'm getting ready to do the rest of my face and I just realized if you take a makeup wipe to the sponge, the foundation will come off so it'll be clean that's so handy i know it said like you can use this and soap but like that's handy you know like you can do that with any sponge can't do this with every sponge it's cool i'm in the middle of doing my face and snoop decided to jump up here and wanted to be in the video This is the Real Technique sponge compared to the Super Sponge. The Super Sponge is definitely a makeup saver and based off of how I can clean this Super Sponge, I would say it does limit germs as well, just like the packaging says it's supposed to. Um, so I'll give it that. Um, no weird creasing going on on like my nose or around my mouth or anything, so that's good. I definitely recommend the Super Sponge. It is a high quality, long lasting sponge. That's why it's $20 compared to the Real Technique sponge, which is $6. Also, 5% of the profits from buying the sponge go to saving dying coral reefs. So that's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also click the bell icon down below to get notified every time I post a new video. See you guys next time.